And welcome back to my channel. You join me here in this moment, in this now moment, this moment in time, in space, to join me for another reading. Uh, I might be doing a personal reading. I'm going to be giving you guys <clears throat> a little bit of tidbits, a little bit of insight about me um, <laughs> and why people are jealous of me. Please disregard the background noise. I'm currently camping out in the car with my brother and my mom and they snore really badly so i'm trying to dry it out with the headphones but i forgot that that doesn't actually work on your guys end so please bear with me i'll try to make this cute simple and sweet so we're gonna take our selenite here we're just gonna keep that there we have our amethyst as well We have our, uh, I th believe this is black onyx or black obsidian stone. We have our black tourmaline, or black tourmaline, whichever you want to call it, or however you like to call it. Then we also have the clear quartz that just fell. to keep up with oh here it goes one of the hardest to keep up with because it's so tiny and we have our clear quartz here don't underestimate the power of this stone even though it's small it has a lot of power it's very powerful so don't underestimate the power of stones whether they are big or small okay that goes for a lot of things i should say all right so let's go ahead and shuffle these cards first calling on my angels, my spirit guide, and my ascended masters to guide me and protect me during this reading. Please give me and offer me guidance as well during this reading so that I may provide myself and others with the most highest wisdom and knowledge necessary and useful and beneficial for our greatest and most abundant benefit. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into it, shuffle the cards. So with that being said, you guys, how are you all doing today? I hope you are all doing well. It's 3.10 a.m. here in California, and I've been very busy today. And I finally have some time to basically do my thing and have some me time. So I'm just doing that now and just decided to jump on here so that you guys are enjoying yourselves wherever you are. And I'm sending you guys love and light. Even in the most annoying of situations, I guess you guys would call it, you know, in, the, in this car with snoring people, I guess you would call that, but I'm making the most of it, as you can see. And I'm remaining positive and moving forward. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So starting off here, we have the Hierophant. So as I said before, I am a spiritual leader. I am a spiritual okay. teacher. And I definitely have a lot of connection to the Most High. Mm -hmm. And with this, with, with this connection to the Most High and through my duties and my responsibility as a spiritual leader, as a spiritual guide, I do have a lot of, you know, responsibilities and a lot of things that I do, which I'm going to touch on and talk to you guys about, possibly in another video. But we're going to get into why people are jealous of me, why people are jealous of me. Please, can you give me cards that represent why the people are jealous of me? Are we taking this? No. Okay. Please give me a card that represents why people are jealous of me. Okay, so people are jealous of me because of the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands represents victory. <clears throat> I have and always be, I have and always will be very victorious. <clears throat> I have and always will be victorious. Excuse me, clear throat chakra. <clears throat> I have and always will be victorious. And I'm victorious in all 
in all my life, everything in my life, I'm victorious. I'm always constantly winning. And that is a reason why people are jealous of me. They're jealous of me because I'm winning, because I'm victorious, because I remain upright and continue to do so. Moving forward in my business ventures, in my life, relationships, so on and so forth. I'm just, as a whole, victorious. Can I please get another card that represents why people are jealous of me, please? Thank you. Okay, we have the Knight of Wands. Okay, so they're jealous of me because I'm very, very creative. I'm a free spirit. I'm very, very, you know, influential. I'm very, very, you know, go at it, go getter type, very impulsive, but in the right ways and in the right reasons. I'm very, very logical based and I know how to make logical decisions and think things through before I make a decision. But I am very passionate. I am very loving. Um, loving all things adrenaline based, everything that means going out after what I wish to, you know, do and about following my creative dreams and my creative endeavors and moving towards things that are most, um, you know, optimistic and inspirational to myself and not only myself, but others. I like to remain in a state where I'm constantly reaching after my goals and striving after them with my whole heart and constantly reaching for you know fun i like to have go out and have a good time i like to enjoy myself i like to be passionate and i like to explore you know being a free spirit and all with the high priestess at the bottom of the deck they are also jealous of the fact that i'm highly intuitive i'm a high priestess i'm very highly intuitive nothing can be put past me I'm a psychic, high, high, high priestess, psychic, intuitive, whatever you will call it, very much so. Please give me another card that represents why people are jealous of me. This is getting juicy. This would be going up on the Instagram and the YouTube channel. Thank you. I'm going to try not to make it too long, though, because we don't got too much time to be wasting on these. Suckers. <laughs> at the bottom of the deck page of wands so they're very jealous of the fact that i'm a very great communicator i know how to make conversations i know how to be creative i know how to have i have a lot of creative ideas i have a lot of creative things that i do with my life right now i'm being very creative right now i have this youthful spark about me i'm very youthful i'm very enthusiastic i have very great chemistry and a lot of charisma this is why they're jealous of me Please give me another card why people are jealous of me, please. Thank you. Just gonna get three more cards and then we're gonna hop on out of here. So people are jealous of me because I'm a twin flame, because I am guided by spirit, because the angels watch over me. I'm constantly and forever guided and protected by spirit, by my spirit guides, by my angels, by my ascended masters. I'm a twin flame a star seed, a light worker, an empath. And throughout my time, existence, and presence here on earth, it's all about uplifting humanity, uplifting one another, unity, positivity, just overall being help, being assistance and of service to humanity as a whole, as a humanitarian, just as a great human being as a whole. You know what I mean? They're jealous of that. They're also at the bottom of the deck, jealous of the fact that I get gifts from spirit. I am very abundant. I am great manif I'm a great manifester. I am manifesting constantly. I'm constantly getting my manifestations. My manifestations are coming into play. They're also jealous because of that. One more card. Why are people jealous of me? I'm very interested. No, I'm not. Thank you. They're jealous of me because. I have nine of cups. I get what I want. As I said before, I get my wishes fulfilled. My wishes are always fulfilled. My cup is always overflowing. I'm constantly energetic, constantly have great energy, constantly come up and show up every day, wanting more out of life, constantly striving for more and in a state of being where I'm attracting and experiencing more. 
So with that being said, I hope that you guys all enjoyed this video. If it resonated with you all, please feel free to leave a like, comment down below what you'd like to see more of from me, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.